Hey guys, how are we doing? Crypto Insight UK here, bringing you back another video. So let's just start off with, I think we're looking, like we're on the right lines with the calls that we've been making. Obviously, if you guys have been following this channel and the video has been putting like out daily, you can probably agree. We had this great tweet yesterday from one of the macro legends of like Raoul Powell's era who um, follows me on Twitter. Maybe he's been watching my videos, I doubt it, but maybe because he said this yesterday. Macro people, this is a gift purchase in Bitcoin right now. Softer economic data ensures more aggressive Fed. Just waiting for unemployment rates to reach 4.5. Expected liquidity driving gold and silver and NDX, which is NASDAQ. US dollar weakening too. Strap in or forever hold your peace. It's what I've been talking about. What I've been talking about, guys, as you guys know, before we quickly get into Bitcoin is... Uh, the DXY, so that's the dollar weakening. We've, we've looked at this. I've shown you guys this multiple times. I've been talking about gold. I've been saying that gold has been performing and holding well even when Bitcoin fell yesterday. It's literally one of the key points I made in the video. So we're on the right lines. And we've also talked about, well, yesterday I used Tesla specifically, but yesterday we've been, uh, we've been talking about equities being at like all-time highs, as you guys know if you've been watching along. So crypto has been another like outlier. I've said, is it like decoupling? Or is it like a false sell-off? They're the sort of things that I've been thinking as you guys, as you guys well know, like as I've been uh, reporting for you guys. But okay, with all that being said, let's get into some crypto price action. There's some really exciting things. Like I've, I am excited again now. As I said, like it's boring, it's weird to watch price action develop. Let's get into Bitcoin. First off, actually, I'm, I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin daily on the liquidity chart because... There's a lot going on. This is what we talked about yesterday, remember? And I said one of the possibilities was we just wicked and took this box and left this leverage behind. We still had that daily close come in, look, yesterday. This is something that's important. We had the daily close yesterday actually come in just back inside the range. We wicked down below, back inside the, way, the range of range, back inside the range of where we wicked um, back on the, 20, uh, the 2nd of May. So we did actually close back in in there even after all this downturn yesterday so we closed from the bottom yesterday to where the daily close was 5.9 percent higher which is obviously a big reversal after taking all that liquidity by the way apologies if you can hear like some banging going on i don't know what they're doing in the corridor but they're doing something dubai they just do something whenever they like um saturday morning <laughs> anyway is it still possible that we come down and visit this range yes it's possible i said with cascade and stop losses potential but it's not my base case that's that's also what i said we had that big day of long liquidations yesterday open interest is still slowly falling and we have all this liquidity above us here which is i think what we're gonna go for maybe this is the spring like a wyckoff spring um coming down looks like a creek a spring get a push up into this area and move off and i've drawn a possible path for it and i've done one thing on this path which I'm not sure on, but this is, I just want to make, you, make it clear to you guys, this sort of thing often happens when we have these falls, is we do have a slight further push down. That means that anyone who's just jumped in long here, who thinks, oh great, easy ride, get back up, that was a nice spring, clear, come down and just flush them out and, and get rid of their liquidity, um, get them out of the long positions. Could that be possible looking at open interest as well? Although open interest has been falling, I still think it's possible that we do have a flush down to like, this sort of level, so maybe the lows here, which would still be quite a little bit from where we are right now. So it'd still be like 748 million of open interest to flush out. So don't be too surprised if we do have that. It's quite common in crypto to see a low set and then come in and set a slightly lower low before starting to accelerate. It doesn't mean it's my base case. I don't know if it's my base case. My base case right now is just like the DCA into uh, spot crypto, not trying to play with leverage. I know the markets are tricky, especially around bottom. They're trying to catch people out who are getting over leveraged. Buying spot at these prices is brilliant. That's my, that's my play. I said, look, there's a potential for the RSI to come into the normal area again, then back just into the oversold, creating that bullish divergence with a slightly lower low if the price action goes there finding just wicking onto that support and then continuing from there and flushing out that that extra open interest i'm so cheap i still haven't got trading view pro so bad in there i got all these fancy programs and i don't even have trading view pro anyway i don't think you need it to be honest like but anyway and it's going to continue um yeah so that's what that's my thought process that's my thought process 
it's not necessarily definitely going to happen, but it's something that I have on my radar. I'm going to take this off now because I shared that on Twitter and it just get and it's just annoying. Press wrong button. There. It's just annoying to look at. But here, let's get into some exciting things. We've looked at liquidity. We've looked at Bitcoin price. Now let's look at XRP. XRP against the dollar. Okay, not not fantastic. I've drawn this like um, thick white line in here because the daily close actually came in a lot lower than what we've seen since basically May of. 23. So we had a daily close yesterday. This is the lowest since the May since May of 23, which is obviously a bit bit crap. If we look at open interest, however, on XRP, we're pretty low. We're like the lowest we've been for a while. We're like it's it's a base. It's quite based. Like many people are leveraging XRP. Although on the liquidity charts like we showed yesterday, those who are leveraging are a lot of, a lot of short players. I'm going to quickly try and show you that actually. Uh, let's have a look if we can get XRP open quickly just to get that open. I wasn't planning on showing you this, but we showed it yesterday. I just thought I'd touch on it again. Look, open interest is low, but the liquidity that we do have does seem to be sitting above us. Look, unless something has changed. But yeah, the liquidity we do have sits up here. So that's something to consider. I'm going to close that now because it's making my laptop dodge up. Um, but yeah, the interesting part, guys, this is where I get excited. The interesting part is this. Where are we? XRP versus Bitcoin and XRP versus ETH. You know I'm going to talk about it, and I am. I was felt a bit gutted yesterday. I was like, oh, it's lost all its strength versus Bitcoin. It's lost all its strength versus ETH. Guys, it came down and it rejected the push down and wicked right back up into the area that we've been sitting in and still held this key support level that we've been holding. And against Ethereum, even more interesting, <laughs> actually finished the day yesterday on a high against Ethereum. And look, we're right up against that resistance level again against ETH. That is looking pretty promising. Look at that volume coming in. We're up here. Getting excited. I'm getting excited again, guys. A big volume, rejecting all those people who were trying to push that XRP versus Bitcoin down. Today's a big day, guys. We want to see a close above this white line for ETH and then obviously one above this one to confirm towards this bullish area. And this is where we're looking for the... For the big confirmation, and like it looks like a lot on, on the daily time frame, and it is percentage-wise, like from here, it's still 20-25% to get up there. And for Bitcoin, it's still like 15, 18% to get up there. But look, if you look at this on a weekly time frame, I'll show you more zoomed out perspective. We're chopping around at the bottom, we're creating lows here. We're coming out of the oversold area on the RSI, and this is the area that I was showing you towards here, 18%. We start to open up the corridor for a 270% move against Bitcoin, or at least a 60% move. And then realistically, if we start to get some momentum, we're looking for a big boy, lads and lasses. If there's a lasses watching this, it's not, it's not really said my analytics say. Could be, could be something like this. And I don't want to be that moon boy, but that is the move we're looking for. And you can see, historically, it's come from these regions. We, we have those spikes out. And I said, I say, I keep saying it, it comes over the space of two or three weeks. You get two or three weeks of exciting price action for XRP. Sometimes a little bit more here. Look, it was a little bit more of a grind back in 2014. In 2017, you got about one... We're talking about these weeks here, so like one or two there, three, four, five, one week down, two weeks down, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weeks, and you've done a, two, a 29x, basically, against Bitcoin. Similar with uh, XRP against ETH, look where we are. Look where we are, and I'm, I'm talking about getting back up to this level and closing above this level here, but look at the sort of moves that we can get here. Let's try and... It's, a bit, it's not that clear because I've drawn so much on here, but... Let me just show you from where we are. This is rough, guys, because there's so much drawing on here. Again, against ETH, 25x. But realistically, like we're looking like a 2.2x against ETH if we start to break above this level here, this bullish confirmation if we close above this box. That's what we're looking for. That's why I'm getting excited about these bottoming structures that we're looking at. Haven't actually looked on the monthly, so let's have a quick look on the monthly, just do it live while, just before I wrap up this video. Looking nice, look, we're taking the liquidity below us on the monthly time frame. We bounced into this oversold area here. Looking to continue, that's what, against Bitcoin and against ETH. Let's try and, let me, do you know what, I might take off these drawings, just have a look. Nice doji at the bottom here. Things are looking good. We want to see some volume. We want to see some volume here. We need to, 
get closes above this level here, um, and then we're looking good. So that level on, against ETH is 0.004737. That's where we want to be looking for bullish closes on the monthly. I w actually did want to look at the um, Bitcoin dominance chart quickly before we left today. I'm not going to be making a video tomorrow. I'm flying tomorrow to Amsterdam. Come on, England, they play tonight. If they win, I'll actually be in Dortmund on the day that England are playing the semis in Dortmund. So that'll be flipping exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Let's get the drawings back on. Bitcoin dominance yesterday did have some find some strength, but it didn't manage to close with the resistance. It actually rejected that. And again, we're still stuck below that resistance level. So these are all the things that we've been watching, guys. A lot of volume coming in. There's more volume today pretty much already than there was yesterday and on a bearish day. So let's see. Let's see. There's still a lot of price action to play out. I've, I've said there's a projected path potentially for Bitcoin where we do see a further flush. I don't want to guarantee that because one of my, the things that I've been talking about for the last few days, if you've been watching my videos, was just taking that box of liquidity um, and wicking into there, pushing off and using that as our spring. So let's see. If you enjoy the video, guys, please do share it with a friend and subscribe. Ask me any questions you've got in the comments below. Helps the algorithm if you comment below as well. That'd be great. It'd help me out a lot. Um, appreciate you all. I like the video as well. It also helps the algorithm. Um, and I'll see you very soon. I'll, I'll get a video out as soon as I can. I'm not going to promise when it's going to be. Stay on top of my other socials. Um, when I get a chance to sit down, I'll get a video out. Peace up. A-Town Downs. Crypto Insight UK would say.